Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing overstay, deportation, and detention, and how COVID-19 can have a dramatically negative impact on folks that may already have a problem with those issues here in Thailand. So what are we talking about specifically? Well, I've seen people who have been falling into overstay, really not of their own volition. So they, they, they just are in, they've ended up in a position where they just can't deal with, get, or it's been impossible for them to get an extension. They, they ended up in an overstay prior to the date of March 26th which is proving to be a problem. And I'm, I may, I'm making a video contemporaneously with this one that specifically goes into issues for those who are in overstay and just what to do about it. Because unfortunately, and I do feel for you folks, the, you're, you're in a precarious circum, set of circumstances and you just need to deal with it as best you can. I'm talking about this in the specific set of circumstances of somebody being able to, to avoid it if you can, because detention and deportation issues are really going to be exacerbated. They're, they're really going to be made worse by this COVID-19 outbreak. And let me explain why. For those who are unaware, if you get detained in Thailand and you are, for example, on overstay, once detained, generally speaking, and this is pretty much every case I've ever seen, now I've seen some exceptions where people have been let out, they've been released in the custody of an immigration officer to go deal with their affairs so they can leave. But I've never seen anyone ever released once they are booked into detention here in Thailand. If you're determined to be on overstay, so let's say you accidentally fall in overstay while you're stuck here because you can't do a border run or you can't get back to your home country, unfortunately, whatever, and you happen to get detained as a result of that overstay, presumably, you're not going to be deported and allowed out of Thai immigration detention until they can deport you back to at least a country that will take you, but in most cases, that's going to be your home country. Okay, I've dealt with expedited deportations many times over the years. Our staff has dealt with it frequently, and a lot of it, in a sense, is just getting the administrative ducks in a row to get you on a plane back to your home country because most countries don't want to take a deportee especially one that's not coming from you know they're coming from so it's like it's what i call a third party country so you're getting deported from thailand your home country is the united states but they're sending to, you to malaysia in some circumstances malaysia may take you in other circumstances they may say no we're not interested in deportees you know they need to go back to their home country this would be a very bad set of circumstances to fall into during this COVID issue because flights have been diminished drastically and some countries aren't even taking back their own nationals due to quarantine measures. So if you can avoid going into overstay, do so at all costs. I cannot advise that strenuously enough. If you can avoid going into overstay, do so at all costs because if you go into overstay and for example thai law dictates if you're in overstay and you're detained in thailand be it an arrest or it just comes to the attention of a thai police or thai immigration officer that you're in overstay they can pull you in and as and detain you and and thai law actually stipulates that they should if that occurs not only are you blacklisted for five years, it's an automatic five-year blacklisting under those circumstances, but more importantly, and more to the point for this video, due to COVID-19, it may not be possible to get you back to your home country for a prolonged period of time. And immigration detention is not a place you want to be. It's not particularly pleasant. I hesitate to totally analogize it to a jail because it's, it's not quite that, but it's not pleasant. And you may be able to find photos on the internet of what the inside of it looks like. Obviously, we, we're not gonna put any of that up here, but I've been down there. It's not a place you would otherwise wanna be. So the thing to take away from this video, if you can avoid overstay during this time period, you need to take all necessary steps to do that. And moreover, the other thing to take away from this video is do not presume the amnesty applies to you. It does apply to tourists. It applies to people in, in exemption stamp status. 
but it generally, based on our reading of it, and apparently there's conflicting information and interpretation out there amongst immigration offices, that it looks like it doesn't necessarily apply to non-immigrant status, nor does it necessarily apply to those who only extended their lawful status in Thailand by dint of getting an embassy letter from their home country's embassy and then pin, been put under sort of a pending status and then expiring within the window of amnesty. Those folks, based on what we're seeing right now, aren't necessarily being, being viewed as covered under the amnesty. It looks like they need to take further measures in order to regularize your status. So keep a close eye on your immigration status because this is not the time to fall into overstay and it is definitely not the time to be put in detention because it remains to be seen exactly when that detention would end under current circumstances.